Your boy Notorious right now. Thanks to everybody that liked my last video, well, intro video, you could say. Thanks to everybody that subscribed already. Appreciate it a lot. Ooh, ooh, what is that? It's, damn. Damn, he's louder than I am. <laughs> damn, shout out to the little Jetta. <laughs> But yeah, right now we're gonna go to the store. We have a leak on the turbo somewhere. I have an idea where it's at. I seen exhaust gases escaping from there. So we're gonna go to the store right now, get a gasket. If you could squeeze out a little bit more ponies out of this car. All right, so this is the issue I'm telling y'all about. Do y'all see that? You see, where the turbos is right here there's a hot side and this is the piping underneath where that comes from the headers well right here um i'm not sure if y'all can see it well there's a stain here that's actually the water vapor that's coming out from the field so it's just dripping all around here and also all around the gasket so what we're gonna do is replace the seal that goes inside of here Cause I already tried it up. I already tried to tighten up all these bolts around it, and it wouldn't help at all. So I just might as well just got a new gasket and the gasket maker to see if we can make this run better. Cause the exhaust gases from the headers go through here, and this basically pulls up the turbo, like ends it up spinning and spinning and spinning, which is something like this. And then it's pulling it up, and the faster it pulls, the better it takes off. But since we have a leak around here, we can't really spool that fast anymore. And it's just basically lagging a little bit. All right, so this is gonna be our solution to the leak we we're having right now with the turbo. It's a gasket. It's made off of stainless. So this will be in between the turbo and the piping, which is the hot side of the turbo. These come in different sizes like every gasket but the thing with these is that the smaller your turbo is the smaller the gasket is so this is a t4 the next one will be a t3 which will be smaller like around here then the t2 will be smaller and smaller by the number goes down so t1 is basically the smallest gasket you could probably get also just to be safe and we don't have to do this over again we're gonna use this ultra copper gasket maker which is basically heat resistant, which is withstanding 7,000 Fahrenheit. So what we're gonna do is put some of this on this gasket all around, front and back. Then we're gonna smush it between the turbo and the piping so we don't have any type of leaks. So hopefully this is gonna be our solution to our leaking problem. This uh, stainless steel gasket with the gasket maker all around. So just to be, make it safe and hopefully we never do this again, we put some around there, also on the turbo. So this is gonna be sitting right here. Let me get to light it up, right there. And like, and it's gonna look like that. Now we just gotta put the turbo on top of that and put the bolts off all around, the four bolts. And basically this is gonna be the best seal we can have so we can stop leaking. little gasket maker comes out the side it's okay that's perfectly normal 
just if you don't want it to look a little bit sloppy you can just clean it up with a rag or something but right now we're just gonna wait for it to dry up i guess five minutes or so and so we can start turning it on the car again and see if we don't have the same leak anymore hopefully we fix the issue all right let's start it up something more awesome to do next time. All right, man, y'all take care.